Okay, and the, in this talk, um, there will be two parts about our work. The first part is uh, NC Cloud. NC Cloud is the first work to uh, implement uh, network coding in a, a multiple cloud storage system. And the second part is the functional regenerating codes. And this, this family of codes is especially designed for the NC Cloud. Okay, let me introduce the first part, NC Cloud. Um, before that, I want to um, I want to introduce the background of the cloud storage. So, what is a cloud storage? And the cloud storage is uh, is a cloud service to um, often used to for backing up data, such as the um, Dropbox or the iCloud. And um, well, and if you just use a single cloud storage, there will be some problems. And the first problem is the cloud outage. That means, um, for example, Amazon's cloud um, has been has gone down for several times, and each time um, it will it will cause many websites um, take down. So this will they will cause these companies uh, lose some money. And the, se the second problem is the security. And one of my friend, uh, her name is Jessica, and uh, uh, recently her iPod ID and password has been, have been stolen. So all her data in the iCloud was lost. So if you just use a single cloud storage to store your data, that will be another, that will be the second problem. The third problem is the vendor locking. What is vendor locking? That is the, um, if, if, a, if a client um, chooses um, just a single one vendor to store, I mean the cloud storage vendor to store um, their data, then um, the more data, and the user stores in the cloud, in this cloud, in this cloud provider, um, pro, uh, provider, the more expensive he want to switch this provider to another. So this user is involved in the vendor locking. So how to deal with this problem? I mean, these three problems when we well, we just use single cloud storage. We can use the inter-cloud storage or the multiple cloud storage. And inter-cloud storage is the, just the one name to, 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 for this kind of service. And uh, the, part, the, part, the, the topology is that the, we can use a proxy between the users and uh, multiple clouds. And the uh, proxy can, yeah, can relay the uh, users data to this cloud store, to these multiple clouds. It's like a user can upload a file to the multiple clouds and download the file from the multiple clouds. And, uh, well, and, uh, um, okay. And uh, uh, the download, the upload, um, the upload is of, the uploading uh, operation is often um, based on some striping and schemes is like the often use the MDS code, NK MDS code. That means the NK out of N storage nodes or clouds can rebuild the original file. And the, <laughs> basically, we often used a RAID 5 and the RAID 6. They are two common um, MDS codes. And RAID 5 is to tolerate one failure. Read six is to tolerate two failures. Okay. Uh, right, right. It's a single, it's a single form of failure. Right. So we uh, it's just uh, the basic uh, um, topology. So actually, we can use the multiple proxies. So it just in this um, simple scenario, we use the um, one proxy to. Um, Specify the scenario. You are right. You are right. Good question. Okay. So um, if just so because we are using the multiple clouds, 
if one cloud fails, then we can use the other clouds to um, we repair the lost data. And just in this scenario, if the cloud one fails, then we can use the cloud two, three, four. And they, um, the proxy can download data from these surviving clouds to repair the uh, lost data to a new cloud. And our goal is to um, minimize, the, minimize the data read from the surviving nodes. That means the, we want to minimize um, these three um, boxes. And uh, we, we denote this um, traffic as the repair traffic. And um, if we can minimize the repair traffic, then we can minimize the, the cost due to the data migration. And, uh, and the, minimize the, the minimizing repair traffic is the key goal in, in our, in our to, uh, total um, study in this slide. And how to minimize the repair traffic? Then we introduce a narrow coding in this problem. Uh, in order to show um, how narrow coding benefit um, to this question, to this problem, um, before that, I want to um, introduce um, some tra uh, a traditional um, codes. We can use it to compare with the narrow codes. And the, with the Solomon codes is a traditional MDS code. And the basic scenario is like this. And uh, um, the clouds one, two, three, four are encoded like this. And uh, um, if the first cloud fails, then we can use the cloud two and cloud three to recover it, to to re repair the lost data A. But we can see that the repair back traffic that means the the right line is equal to n. That means uh, we need to transmit two chunks, and the two chunks is equal to the the, the, the file, the, the total, the size of the file, that means it's equal to M. That is the repair traffic um, in the Rita Solomon code scenario. Okay, and let me see um, how narrow coding scenario um, outperforms um, the um, Rita Solomon code. Regenerating codes belongs, to, regenerating code belongs to uh, narrow codes. And this is a um, this is a um, well a typical scenario for regenerating codes, and um, similarly the cloud one fails and the cloud two, three, four, and just uh, transmit three chunks, and the three chunks is uh, the, the 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 data uh, of three chunks is equal to uh, zero point seven five m, and. Uh, how the regenerating codes do it? That's it. We, we can see that um, the cloud two transmit C, cloud three transmit A plus C, and the cloud four um, do a do a X war operation among um, between, I mean of um, of all these data of all these chunks, the A plus D uh, X war B plus C plus D. Then we um, delete the D, so we can get A plus B plus C. Then we can and we can salute the A and B and repair the lost data. So this is the basic scenario to use narrow coding to reduce the repair traffic and compare with relate, uh, relative to um, with the Solomon code. And the repair traffic in this scenario saved 25%. Okay. But there are still challenges in to use the regenerating codes in intercloud storage. So what are them? And the first, the first two challenges are to implement the basic uploading, downloading, and repair functions. Okay, actually they are just uh, practical challenges, not that hard. The hardest challenge is to is can we eliminate encoding? And decoding operations in storage nodes or in clouds. What does that mean? Okay, in this scenario, we, we, we use this scenario again. That means um, 
this XO operation cannot be used in the cloud four. Why is that? Because in, in many um, cloud storage services, um, this service is just offer the read and the write interface API, and they don't provide the computation functions. So you cannot, you, you, you can't um, do any um, computation among the, the, the chunks in the cloud. So how to deal with this problem? So we need to, uh, so that is, so we need to, um, well, um, if we, we still want to use the regenerating code in the, in the cloud storage, so we need to uh, design a new family of code to, to, to deal with this problem. So that is our work. Uh, we build NC Cloud and uh, this, and, uh, this uh, storage system and give a new design of a functional minimal storage regenerating codes. And the minimal storage regenerating codes belongs to, belong to, uh, belongs to a, a typical um, regenerating code. And the functional, okay, I will explain it later. And this kind of this kind of code can eliminate the encoding and decoding operations in clouds, but still um, have the benefit of the narrow codes. Okay, so that is the our um, the contribution of our work. So okay, let me um, specify how we do it. And um, this is the um, FMSR. I mean, MSR is the code we um, we've proposed. And in this scenario, we can say that um, that um, each cloud, each cloud um, stores, each cloud stores the code chunks, the P1, P2, from P1 to P8, and uh, each code chunk is a linear combination of the re of um, A, B, C, D. I mean, A, B, C, D is the original data chunks, and then. And do, how to do the repair in an um, FMSR? First, um, okay, let's say the cloud one fails. Then cloud two, three, four, um, transmit um, one chunk of each cloud to the proxy. And the proxy used the downloaded chunks to generate uh, um, two new chunks, P1 plus, P2 plus. And the two and the, these two chunks uh, is stored in another new cloud to repair the lost data p1 and p2. Here we can see that actually the p1 plus and p2 plus are not the same as the p1 and p2. So that is the word functional mean. Functional means uh, okay, we are not really uh, repair the exact uh, content we. We, we've lost, we just uh, um, repair some um, content that we still um, maintain the, the, the same property. I mean, the, the property means here is the MDS property. So it's functionally repaired successfully. That is why we call it functional MSR. And uh, uh, the key idea is of FMSR is that uh, is to be long systematic, and what that what does that mean? That means um, we do not keep original data. We can see that uh, actually uh, in our clouds, the data stored in in the clouds or even um, the the repair data in the new cloud. <laughs> They are not the same as the original chunks. So actually, we well, we we do not um, keep the original data in this in this um, well in this solution. So, um, but we still maintaining the MDS property. Yeah, we have we um, explained it before. And um, okay, you can maybe you can say, oh, um, this solution um, will have some flaws because he he didn't. He, he, uh, it doesn't maintain the original data. So what, so what if we want to uh, read the uh, data, we have to um, decode uh, or original data. 
So actually, our MSR code uh, is very suitable for the uh, long-term archive archival. I mean, um, for this kind of application, we just uh, um, back up our long-term our data in the cloud. We 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 really use the data. So even though they are just stored in the um, cloud in a uh, um, coded form, not in the systematical form, it's, it's still okay, it's still okay. And based on it, and due to the long systematic property, uh, we can eliminate the need of encoding and decoding um, operations in clouds. So, and keeping the, and while keeping the the benefit of narrow codes. Okay, the same. Okay, next I will specify the um, the basic uh, operations in our NC cloud systems. Um, first, the proxy. Uh, the proxy will divide the file into um, okay k multiplying and minus k chunks and then encoding them to the um, coded chunks and then distributing them to the clouds. And we used uh, um, we used uh, encoding coefficient vectors and uh, encoding matrix to well to show the um, to show the encoding process. And the, the uh, encoding coefficient vectors and the matrix is, to, is also replicated to all the clouds uh, as metadata. So that if just if uh, one cloud fails, we still have um, well, we still um, store the metadata so that we can um, use the metadata to do the recovery. Oh, download download is the. Um, Invotable process of the upload, so pass. Okay, the second, the, the third process is the repair, pro repair process, and uh, here the, pr the repair is to regenerate uh, random linear combinations of chunks. Let me to do. Let me explain the random. What random means here? The random means uh, first. It had two. It had two aspect. The first is to um, how to select the chunks to to repair the the lost the lost data? Okay, we can select P three, or we can um, select P four. That is just a randomness. So um, that is the first random name. We can randomly select uh, chunks from the surviving from each of the surviving clouds. And the second randomness mean here is that um, here. The P1 plus and the P2 plus are the linear combination of the P3, P5, P5, P7. And uh, the combination here, the linear combination here is a random linear combination. So the, the second um, uh, randomness is here. That means the, uh, the coefficient are selected randomly from the fields, from the field. So here's the problem. So how to keep the Interactive single failure repairs sustainable. What what does the interactive mean here? It I mean it means that um, okay it, in this scenario it just uh, the cloud one fails, but if um, in the second in the second recovery we can say oh the cloud two is cloud two fails, so there will be endless uh, repairs in this scenario. So that means the interactive that means the uh, what if we want to keep the thing, uh, we want to keep the um, the we want to make the recovery um, to keep the um, what if we want to um, keep the MDS property after any number of repairs? So how to ensure the new code chunks doesn't uh, don't break MDS property? So that is a, that is the key problem here in our um, system, and our solution is a little tricky. We use the two-phase checking, 
and the first phase checking is to check the MDS property, and the second phase checking is to check the um, well check the next repair for any possible failure, whether it maintains the MDS property. Let me explain carefully here. And for the first check, um, it's just like this. And if the first cloud fails, and uh, the, that is the uh, we repair data here, and we check um, these uh, four nodes um, whether it's maintained uh, um, four to MDS property. That is the first check. And the second check is that, oh, uh, it is the, um, then um, the first uh, um, cloud is repaired. Then in the next repair, um, the, the cloud two may fail, or cloud three may fail, or cloud four may fail. So we, um, well, we enumerate all the uh, cases and check all these cases whether the MDS property is maintained. So that is that is what does what the next repair what does the repair repair MDS property check here means. So based on the two phase checking, we designed M NC Cloud for the um, we designed the FMSR for the NC Cloud. Okay. We we just uh, the second the second repair we we do not consider the uh, right right right. But it's not right 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 right. So it just uh, it's it, and in this paper I mean in this work we do not guarantee the endless rounds of repairs. Okay, we will prove that is uh, we will guarantee theoretically in our next study. So in this study, we just uh, uh, actually we just uh, do the practical implementation uh, ahead of the theoretical proof. So that is a, a little, very it is it is a little uh, well um, unnatural, okay? <laughs> but it, because um, well it's, it's here. Okay, that is the, um, the the iterative repair process here, and. Uh, uh, we can just uh, see here, and uh, if the two phase checking um, fail, fails, then we go back to the um, to the uh, selection of the um, of the um, selection um, selection chunks from the surviving nodes. Okay, so that is that is my um, f okay. Uh, that is uh, th this is the cost analysis. And uh, uh, S3 is the Amazon, and Azure is the um, Windows Cloud Storage Services. And uh, uh, it is the price plan. We can see that um, based on this um, table, the, um, well, the MSR serve, uh, serves, saves the 25% compared to conventional repair. Actually, we, <laughs> in here, we, didn't, we, we don't use the the, the real number here, but we just uh, list them to show that um, to show that uh, actually the repair traffic um, will will cost money um, because the data transfer out um, ha we only um, will will um, we need you to spend money here, but uh, um, the data transfer in well it means that these grid boxes are free, so. That is why we just uh, consider the, the repair traffic in these three boxes. Okay. So that is the um, well the um, the numerical result here. Okay. This is the first part of <coughs> of our work. We um, actually we proposed an implementable. Implementable means it's not, it has not been proved in this work. We just, uh, the first work to implement uh, the uh, regenerating code in uh, uh, intercloud storage. 
So in our next study, we, we are trying to um, theoretically prove that the, our FMSR code um, can, can guarantee the uh, repair um, well, after any number of repairs. Okay, that is a challenge. Uh, okay, I've said uh, the NC Cloud, all, okay, here is only shows uh, that MSR code maintained MDS property after hundreds of repair runs. And uh, this is just uh, based on uh, simulations. So it has no uh, theoretical uh, proof. So we need to prove, provide theoretical foundations of, um, for NC Cloud. And in this work, we, our contribution is to um, prove the existence of an FMSAR codes and, uh, and provide a deterministic um, code construction. And finally, we evaluate our deterministic MSR, FMSAR codes. Okay, and uh, this is the FMSR codes in NC Cloud. We have, um, okay, we have uh, described it before, so pass. Okay, and um, in order to, in order to prove the existence of FMSR code, we need to give some, mm, well, intu intuition to make people um, well, understand our um, proof more clearly. And this is, the, this is an example for a failed repair in NC Cloud. And this is the first repair. Let's say the Cloud 1 fails, then, um, yeah, and this is the repair process. Okay, and this is the second repair. And in this repair, uh, we select, uh, okay, um, these three chunks to, to do the second repair. And it's like this. Okay, after these two um, repairs, we can say that, uh, we can observe, uh, we select the first uh, two clouds to, um, to do the decoding, I mean to, um, to rebuild the original file. Then we can say that um, these four chunks, okay, because of the, the previous slide, we can say that and uh, these three chunks are encoded to these two chunks. So um, these four chunks can reduce to these four chunks. Yeah, because, um, because um, these three chunks are encoded to these two chunks. Similarly, in the first uh, repair, and these three chunks are encoded to these two chunks. Then these, three, these four chunks can be reduced furtherly to um, these three chunks. Then we can say, um, finally, um, the, the, the four chunks of the, um, the, the two clouds, um, well, they reduce to just three chunks. And we know that um, the original file uh, should contain four chunks. So this file decoding fails. The main reason, the, the key reason here why the file decoding fails is that um, these four chunks are actually the linear dependent chunks. So how to deal with this problem? Here we um, introduce a new concept here. That is the LDC. LDC is the linear dependent connection. And let me show it um, for, um, by example. And this is the first repair, and these three chunks are encoded to these two chunks. Then we can say that that leads to um, three LDC of the first repair. Okay, let me um, explain what the LDC is. LDC of the R's repair RDC, LDC of the R's repair is a collection of multiplying n minus k chunks which 
which are formed by less than k multiplying m minus k chunks of the RF repair. Okay, and, and let me use this example to explain. That means, um, okay, this is a L LDC, and we can say these four chunks, okay, four is equal to um, two multiplying uh, four minus two, I mean, the, uh, in this scenario. And uh, these four chunks are formed by, well, we can say um, these four chunks are actually are linear and independent, uh, dependent because um, these, three these two chunks are linear combination of um, these three chunks. So actually, these four chunks can reduce to, um, can reduce to these three chunks. So actually, they can form by less than um, four chunks. So this is LDC. And uh, in this scenario, we have three LDCs. And there is a fact. Um, if the selected um, chunks after the um, R minus one repair are formed by an RDC of the RF repair, then the fire decoding fails. Okay, then let me show the other, another definition, that is the RBC. So what RBC is? RBC, okay, RBC is an RBC of the RF round of the repair is the collection of K multiplying an M minus K chunks. Well, how to, how to uh, uh, get all these chunks? Okay, uh, it follows um, by these three, de three steps. The first step, okay, we select an um, n minus one out of n nodes. In this scenario, we select three nodes out of these four clouds. And then uh, we select k minus one out of the n minus one clouds. That means uh, in this scenario, we, we select one cloud and we, um, we collect all the chunks of these um, clouds. Then we get um, p um, plus one one and p plus one two. And uh, in the next, in the um, step three, uh, we use we uh, collect um, just one chunk from each of the um, each of the rest uh, of the clouds. Then we have we we have and uh, we have uh, all, all of the. Um, collected chunks can form um, four chunks. And these four chunks is called uh, an RBC. That is RBC meme. And uh, there's another fact. Uh, apparently, RBC um, should contain all the LDCs because LDCs can, can, be, um, well, can be considered and um, well in, can, can, can be obtained by these three steps. Okay, and that is the um, the key property we propose we propose in um, to to improve the existence. That is the repel MDS property. And the repel MDS property uh, is uh, is that if all RBCs after um, except the LDCs, I mean they. They belong to the uh, they they belong to the earth repair and all these RBCs excluding the LDCs are decodable. Decodable here means um, this RBC um, each of these RBCs are um, are linear independent, and we call um, and this time we call the R RMDS property is satisfied. That is the word RMDS property mean. And um, we know that NC Cloud is based on two-phase checking, and we used. Uh, um, okay, we we I think um, the first checking is is very easy to to understand, and the second checking, we used our MDS property to well um, to specify it. Okay, so. Um, 
So we used uh, MDS property to we used uh, MDS property and our MDS property to um, well to criticize the uh, the two phase checking in our previous um, storage system NC Cloud. Then, um, based on the above definitions, uh, we give the following lemma. The first uh, lemma the first lemma is that. Um, there are two or more common chunks between select chunk, selected chunks from surviving clouds for repairing, and each LDC. Let me use a scenario to explain it. Okay, um, this is the um, this this is the um, selected chunks from surviving clouds for repairing. Um, yes, we. Um, based on the previous scenario, uh, these three chunks are the selected chunks in the first um, repair, and uh, this is and um, this is um, are the three LDCs after the first uh, repair. Then we can see that um, each of these LDCs have two common chunks um, with the selected chunks in the first repair. So this lemma, well, uh, is very easy to conclude. And the second lemma is that um, if the RMDS property is satisfied, then there always exist a minus one chunks from any a minus nodes, a minus one nodes. Each, uh, each node offers one chunk, such that any RBC containing them is not LDC. Okay, let me use uh, another, let me use this scenario to explain it. Okay. Um, if the RBC don't have green chunks, the green chunks is the, is the new chunks. If the RBC do not have green chunks, then it is not a LDC. Uh, that is the first case. It is very easy to understand because the RDCs, uh, each RDC should contain the green chunks. So if the RBC don't have green chunks, so it, it, it is not the RDC, it's clear. And the case two is that if the RBC has a green chunk, that means um, uh, the, these N minus chunks uh, from n minus nodes, and this n minus chunks um, well contains one green chunks, so that the RBC has a green chunk. Then we can always find n minus one chunks such that RBC containing them has a blue chunk out of P22, P32, and P42. What does that mean? That means, uh, okay, uh, we can you we can we can and um, we can tune the, um, the the selection in every cloud. That means the first uh, randomness we have explained before. So um, we can always um, find uh, well uh, we can always select um, from a cloud um, to select. And the P and two two or P three two or P two uh, four two, such that uh, the RBC containing them are not a RBC, are not an LDC, because all these LDCs, okay, we can say that each LDC does not contain the, um, any chunk of these three chunks. So um, we can always find a minus one chunk such that the RBC containing them will um, have a blue chunk out of, um, out of um, these three chunks. And these three chunks are not included in these uh, three LDCs. So um, this kind of RBCs are not, are not, be, are not a LDC. That is the second name. And based on the, on the above numbers, we have the final theorem. And this theorem um, proved the existence of FMSR codes. 
<coughs> and uh, well, consider a file encoded using FMSR codes, and we just uh, consider the double follow tolerance. Uh, double follow tolerance, and uh, uh, we and in the in the R's repair, the last chunks are reconstructed by the random linear coding of n minus one chunk selected from n minus one surviving nodes. Then after the repair, the reconstructed file still satisfies the both MDS and RMDS properties. With probability driven arbitrary to one with an increase in the field size. Okay, let me Okay. You mean the what the random? Right, right, right. Okay, um, the probability. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It should be the um, the um, both uh, the MDS property uh, satisfy the. Uh, well, Okay, let me <coughs> let me <coughs> um, let me see how to prove the theorem. The first, okay, the proof is based on the induction. So that is how that is. Um, so that can answer your question. Oh, five minutes. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, uh, this is the proof, and uh, the first we used the uh, resolving codes. To, to do the in initialization, and uh, then we use the MDS property, and we do the two checks. The first check is MDS property check, and the second check is the RMDS check. And uh, um, because this proof is based on induction, so, um, well, uh, you, you asked question before, and uh, you said, oh, how to prove it um, after um, okay, limits uh, or any number of repairs because this proof is based on induction. So just uh, well, um, two repairs. Um, we can if we just want to if we can prove that um, the um, two um, continuous repairs uh, are successful, then we can use it to well to um, to prove any numbers of repairs. Okay. Oh, okay, because the time limited, so I will pass the deterministic and code construction here. <laughs> Sorry, and that is the experiment. And well, um, this experiment uh, shows that um, the random. FMS code and the deterministic FMS code, um, because uh, um, as I mentioned before, uh, the random here has two meanings. So actually, if we use random MS codes, um, the the system will will run very slowly because uh, there are too many um, well random. Um, cases in our system, so there the the, the 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 efficiency is not that um, well. It's not that good. So we designed the deterministic FMSR codes, and the, the time and the the, the efficiency 
um, well, it's it's much it's a lot better uh, than the random FMSR codes. We can you can see our paper in detail. Okay, so that is the uh, conclusions of our second work. <laughs>